I'm just going to show you how to change the fuel filter just here. So I'm going to crack it off. I've turned this off on here. So this is an on and off. When it's straight up, it's on. When it's across, it's off. So I'm going to unscrew this. I've already got a drain plug to catch it all. And look at that. Look at all of the rubbish on the filter. If I pour this away, you can already see loads of sediment in the bottom of there. So I'm going to take this off for now. And there's already an O-ring on there. And as you can see on the bottom of here, all of the sediment that's been building up. All in there. That's all come from the fuel tank. So I'm going to pop, pull this little filter out. Pour out any diesel. As you can see, look at all of the look at all of the debris in there. It's all come from the fuel tank. It's only done a hundred hours. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to clean this one out to start with. So with an airline. What you want to do is, well, what I find easiest is blasting this out. Blasting the outside out. All around the O-ring. Seal the airline. Just don't want any grit in there. Bit of brake cleaner. of a rag just to wipe it all off make it nice and clean do the same on here just going to clean up the threads a bit easier to get on and off again then we will get our new IC key fuel filter i going to try and not touch the card piece get a tiny bit of grease Tiny, tiny amount there, then a tiny, tiny amount here. Rub it into the O-ring. Get it all in there, and then same with this one. Rub it into the O-ring. I'm going to push this on here, so there's a little hole, and it'll just slide on. Should sit on the O-ring, but just be careful. You don't want it to fall down into where you've just drained the diesel from. Then we're going to slide this one under. Should just want. so I'm just gonna let that sit up there for now. Wind it on. Try and not cross thread it as you're doing it. That's what I seem to be doing. There we go. We're gonna tighten this down quite a bit. Ugh. Bit of brake cleaner on it. Tidy it all up a little bit. Then we're going to turn our fuel back on. Very stiff. And as you can see, it should be filling this up now. Very slowly. So to make it go a little bit quicker, I'm going to turn the ignition of the tractor on and it'll turn the fuel pump on and push the petrol, sorry, the diesel through a bit quicker. As you can see, it's going now. There we go. See, it's nice and clean now. We're going to let it run for a second, just whilst the ignition's on. We're just going to check for any leaks. You can still hear the fuel pump running. So now there could be air trapped in here. So if the fuel comes into here, and then it goes out to the engine out of this one, into the diesel pump, sorry, into the injector pump. What we need to do is sometimes there's trapped air in there from where we've just let the air go out. Now we're trying to, we've let the diesel come out. Now we're letting air go back in. So a 17 mil spanner and on this piece in here, there's a, a 17 mil nut, which comes off the pipe, goes straight into the diesel injecting tank, into the diesel pump, sorry. So I'm gonna crack this off very, very gently. If I can get the spanner on it nicely. Struggling with idiot. Just a little bit. Then there you go, you'll see diesel just coming out. Just a little bit of diesel. 
There we go, it's quite a bit now. So pushing all the air out, and then I'm gonna tighten it back up a little bit. Then, remember, never overdo it. And then we're gonna wash that off with a bit of brake cleaner. And then use the airline to blast away the brake cleaner. Bit of diesel. And the final thing, we're going to write on here the hours. It's the 900 hours on the dot. So 900 HRS. And then the date today will be the 12th, or the month is the 12th of 23. 